is going on, everybody? It's Dallas weekend. Eagles versus Dallas Cowboys, as all of you probably know by now. Big game for many different reasons. I've talked about it this past week, and we're a day away. Two days away, actually. It's Friday. I messed up with my days. But there's good news, not really, and there's a lot of bad news. Jason Peters is out. Deshaun Jackson will likely not be playing. Amari Cooper could play. Now they're saying he could play. And it's just it's just a mess. The good news is Jalen Mills and Ronald Darby will be the starting cornerbacks for this weekend. Don't know how that's going to play out. Especially if Amari Cooper is playing. It it could really go either way with with our cornerback situation. You never know what you're going to get. So far this season, we've gotten absolutely nothing out of our cornerbacks. Hopefully this weekend, they step up a little bit now that we got, believe it or not, the best two cornerbacks in our, on our roster playing. Well, I think LeBlanc is a little bit better, but he's not playing. So him and Maddox are obviously not playing. Mills, Darby are playing. That's who we're rocking with for this matchup against the Cowboys. Uh, it's just a little preview video of what I expect to happen, my thoughts, my opinions, my score predictions, and all that. I think the Eagles win this game. I really do. I believe that the Eagles will win this football game in Dallas. Dallas is coming off a terrible loss against the Jets. They've lost three straight games. And they don't even, they don't want to play under their head coach. They don't respect him. They don't want him. Last game against the Jets, they didn't even high five him on the sideline. They didn't. They don't respect him. And it, they just don't respect him. They don't want to play under him. So I don't, I don't know what's going to happen this weekend, especially on the Cowboys side of the ball. On the offensive side of the ball for the Eagles, I expect good things. Minus Deshaun Jackson being out. I expect good things. Maybe we put Aguilar in a couple more. Not that he doesn't play. We put him into the offense a little bit more. Alshon, Ertz, we got to we gotta add Ertz in. Last week, he had a terrible game. He had a fumble. He had a couple drop passes. He's still Zach Ertz. He's still a top three tight end in this league. Top two, I would say. And I think they got to run with the double tight end formation with Ertz and Goddard, like they've been doing. It it works. When Zach Ertz isn't open, he dumps it off to Goddard, and Goddard's faster, and I think he's more athletic than Ertz. Not better, just more athletic. It, it really, this game means so much to the Eagles right now. A lot of confidence, clearly. A lot of just talking to the doubters that have been focused around this football team for a couple weeks. Every time the Eagles lose, there's always doubters. And I understand that they're, they're, we don't have a secondary. Our secondary is awful. I get that. But if we go out this week and we're throwing out Darby, and I know Mills hasn't played in a long time, but we're going out and playing our best two available cornerbacks right now. And I think they better show up. They have to show up. Mills is expected to play the whole game. Darby's expected to play the whole game. They have to step up. If we want it, especially if Amari Cooper's playing. If Coop is playing, they have to step up tremendously. To, to just shut down Cooper, I'll take a Michael Gallup 15-yard pass. I'll take that. I'll take, like, our front seven, our defensive line is great. We have the best run defense in the NFL. I'm not wor- I'm not too worried about Ezekiel Elliott this week. I'm more worried about Amari Cooper going for three touchdowns again like he did last season. That's what I'm more worried about, not Zeke. Zeke's going to get his. He's a top three back in the league. I get that. We got to stop the passing game. We got to show Dak Prescott that he's just he's an he's not better than Wentz. So we got to show him that. 
Our defense has to get to him. We gotta apply pressure to him. If we can get the Dak Prescott, I don't think there's any shot that the Cowboys win this game on Sunday. Not a shot. It's it's just a big, big time game. Prime time football. Eagles Cowboys. Arguably the best rivalry in football, in sports. It's going to be a fun weekend. Let alone another Dallas team playing a, a Philadelphia team this weekend with the Flyers and the Stars playing tomorrow. Not that it's as anywhere near as big as Cowboys-Eagles. Not even close. But it's just a little coincidence that two Philadelphia teams played two Dallas teams in the same weekend. Now, a couple players, or just one player, who nobody knows who it is at this point in time, was upset that we didn't get Jalen Ramsey. That Howie Roseman didn't try and get Jalen Ramsey as as much as the, the Rams did and other teams were doing. Now, if you don't know by now, obviously Jalen Ramsey got traded to the Rams. He was traded for two first-rounders and a fourth-rounder. The Eagles could have used Jalen Ramsey very much right now. A lot. They really could have used him. It would have been huge, especially going into the second half of the season. And and not only that, but now it goes to an NFC rival in the Rams. It's gonna I don't I don't know. I don't know. We gotta we gotta just stay calm and hopefully wrap Howie can get at least somebody, Patrick Peterson, Chris Harris Jr., William Jackson, Xavier Howard. Those are guys that I've been hearing in the media and this and that and that and all. Everybody, that's who people want. And I would want one of them, at least. Anybody that can make Ronald Darby the second cornerback in our defense, I'm okay with. Because you, Patrick Peterson and Chris Harris might be old. They're still better than what we have now. And I can promise you that. And everybody should know that. So, my question really is, who do you guys think said that they're upset with Howie Roseman and not getting him? There's been speculations that it's been Alshon. There's been speculations that it's Malcolm Jenkins. Those are the two names that I've been hearing. And I honestly have no idea who it is. It's just... It's up in the air, really. I mean, it's. I don't want it to be put out there. Whoever said it, I need, the Eagles need to focus on football. They don't need to focus on any drama right now. They need to focus on their football, their brand of football. They need to go out there and they need to win. That's what they need to do. They don't need all this drama surrounding them. This team is very. They have really good chemistry, and. Something like that, if it comes out saying Malcolm says it, well, he's a part of the secondary on the defense. And I don't, things could happen. Same thing with Alshon. Things could happen. And I don't need that. Nobody needs that right now. Especially coming into the, the, we had the hardest stretch over like five or six games. After this week, we play the Bills. Then we play the Bears. Then we play the Patriots. Then we play the Seahawks. Not in any specific order, but that, those are the teams we play in the month of November, October. It's not an easy schedule whatsoever. It's not an easy schedule. But it starts, we, we got killed by Minnesota. Minnesota was a terrible football game to watch. We need to go out there, show Dallas that we're the better NFC East team, and the Eagles will be fine. If we win this game, I think I also do believe we beat the Bills in in Buffalo. Now my final score prediction for this game, it's obviously not going to be as a big of a margin as the Jets that I said 31 to 7. It's not going to be that. I'm going to say 35 24 Eagles. And they bust it open, Miles Sanders, and Carson Wentz has a good game. Miles Sanders is a very good weapon to have in this offense. Very good. He he is great catching out of the backfield 
or just lining up as a receiver. I really like Miles Sanders. That's really all for me right now. Like, comment, share, subscribe. One away from 130 subscribers. Eagles, Cowboys, 820, Sunday night football. Huge game on the Eagles side of the ball. And the Cowboys also. Got to bounce back from last week. I'm out. Peace.